Hey YouTube, um, this is Robin with Creativity RV and I just wanted to introduce myself to you um, and tell you about my channel. Um, I live full time in my 25 foot B plus um, van RV. Um, right now I'm on the border of Arizona and California. It's January. It's absolutely beautiful outside um, and I left a corporate grind. A rat race job in order to live out on the road in order to fulfill my creative dreams and I just want to share with you guys how you can do that too um, you know like a lot of people I had these dreams when I was younger of being a writer and a painter and you know I got my degree in creative writing and was a freelance writer and a literary agent and um, you know a painter but I starved and so you know in my 20s, my late 20s, I totally sold out to the man. I mean, like, big time. And um, went into the corporate world. I kept thinking it was for two years. You know, all of us think it's going to be for two years. And, you know, then we'll pay off our debt or, you know, we'll get enough money um, so that we can pursue that creative dream. And um, it just never happened. I mean, I owned several businesses. I would build the businesses from scratch, you know, work 12, 14 hours a day so that I could sell them and then live my creative dream. Well, what happened was, you know, I would have these businesses for three years or four years or whatever, and then I would sell them and I would do the creative thing for a year and the money would run out. So I'd have to go and do it again. And um, I always um, had the same problem that I think a lot of people that want to be creative have, which is how do I have a full-time job and still live my creative dream or, you know, work on my craft. After I worked 12 hours a day, I didn't want to go home and work on a novel. Um, that just wasn't happening. I mean, I could write down some notes, you know, or do some sketches, but that was about it. So, um, I just ended up being this gerbil on a wheel that I was just turning and turning and turning and trying to get, um, to a place that I could, um, live my creative dream. Um, and finally, about three years ago, I was in this corporate job that I just hated. I had moved up in the ranks and, you know, was making fine money, but, you know, I was just dying inside and I just didn't, I just didn't know how to get out of it. And one day a coworker, um, who I just wanted to go to lunch, you know, and get a burger. He told me about Seattle's best burger. And then he said, well, hold on. I want to stop in this Airstream dealer. And I'm telling you, I had never been a camper or a hiker. I had never driven an RV until I got the one that I bought that I'm living in. And, um, so I mean, like at the time I was like, Oh God, a trailer, Ugh, you know, um, you know, make it quick. You know, I want to get this burger I've heard about. And, um, so we went inside and I think it was an Eddie Bauer that we looked at, but the back of the RV opened up onto this porch and I could just imagine myself sitting out there in the woods writing. And I mean, just my mind opened up and I asked how much it was. And it was one sixth of what I had just spent on a condo in downtown Seattle. Um, and I started to think, oh my God, did I just spend that much money on a condo so I could live in the neighborhood where my job was so I could afford the condo? And then I really felt like I was a gerbil on a wheel. And my boss, when I told him I got the condo said, congratulations, I love debt equity. And I said, what does that mean? And he said, well, now I have you for 30 years. And I started to really get just a bad taste in my mouth um, for that world and that job and those sentiments. And so I started to binge everything about RVs I could get my hands on. I, I Every night, I, for hours, I would watch Creativity, or I'm sorry, uh, Cheap RV Living and you know, Carolyn's RV Life, a nomadic fanatic, and I think I've seen every video that those three people have ever done. I started reading blogs and getting, you know, as much information as I could, and I started making spreadsheets about models I liked, but if I'm honest, I was never going to do it. You know, I was looking for an escape for my corporate life, um, for that unhappiness, and I, I escaped through fantasizing about living an RV life. But I probably wasn't going to do it. But then, you know, I like a lot of people who end up doing this, I had a catalyst. Um, my, my older sister, Terry, um, was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer 
uh, at 47 and died within six months. Um, as soon as she was diagnosed, the one thing on her mind was all the places that she wanted to go that she had never been able to go. And she was hoping that, you know, she could have a couple of chemo treatments and she would be well enough to go to New Orleans or, you know, all the Seattle and all the places that we had talked about going. And um, she just never made it through one treatment. She never got out of bed again. There, there was no time. She had lost the opportunity. And um, I took care of her for her last six weeks. And, you know, one day we were laying in bed and she said, do you like your job? And we had a really similar job, by the way. I really think the stress is half of, you know, what gave her cancer. Um, and I said, yeah, I like my job. And she said, huh, well, if you were going to die in two years, would you want to keep that job? And she was two years older than me. So, you know, I just blurted out no. And it was kind of uncomfortable at the time. Um, but she said, well, I've always imagined you in Paris with a sketchbook. In fact, I have um, recorded some House Hunters International for you. And that was my sister. She you know, was thinking about everybody else while she was dying. But that, that was the catalyst for me. I knew in that moment that I wasn't going to be in corporate America long-term. Um, I lasted six more months and I spent that six months planning. Um, so basically within six months, um, I sold that condo and that condo is, you know, thank God for the good, the good market financed this, um, RV that I live in now. Um, I did go back and do some consulting work for that company um, so that I could work less hours so I could write my first two books because I knew that I needed that so I would have an income on the road. Um, and the day that the second book came out, um, which by the way, the books are written under the name Josephine Parker on Amazon if you look for them. Um, they're romantic suspense. Um, so the, you know, right after I did that one, I hit the road. Um, and that, since then I've been on the road seven months. Um, my, my third book's about to come out. I write a blog called Creativity RV, which, you know, shows people how, why, and where I live this life. I just started another website called Words Inspired. And now I'm working on a, a suspense series in addition to the series I'm already doing. And so here's what I want people to know about an RV life and why I do this and why you can do this. You don't have to stay in that corporate job and hope that you make it to retirement. You know, a lot of people retire and two years later they're gone. And for me, with my sister, I definitely never wanted to regret um, not doing the things that I wish that I had done. And um, I, just re I just refused after that to let that happen. And so for you, if you're dreaming of, you know, some life, it could be hiking, yoga, you know, eating Doritos. I mean, I don't know, you know, solving world peace, whatever it is that you want to do, but your hours are being taken up working for somebody else because you, you know, you've been told that you have to have the mortgage so that you can have the retirement. Um, I'm here to tell you that you don't have to do that. Moving into an RV for me, reduced my expenses to $1,000 a month, maybe 1200 bucks. And I talk about this in my blog too. I have a detailed budget um, that I'm also redoing over time, you know, um, based on how my numbers are changing. But all I had to say to myself was, what kind of a rate can I afford? And then what can I do to generate, let's say $1,200? Um, so far that's going pretty well for me. Um, and I have decided, you know, if uh, my creative endeavors don't pay the bills, then, you know, I'll go be a work camper or, um, a campground host or something like that. And I'll talk to you guys about all that, but here's the difference, you know, out here, my creative brain is just like exploding. I have more ideas when I wake up in the morning. I feel like I have four full-time jobs now. Um, the difference is that I own the wheel. I'm not their gerbil on a wheel. I own the wheel. And now I'm like a gerbil just on steroids. I'm like running, 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 but it's all for me, you know? And while I'm doing it, I'm in these amazing places right now. I'm on the border of Arizona and California. 
it's January 2018. It's gorgeous outside. Um, a lot of the work I'm going to do today is going to be outside under an awning with my cat next to me in a little cat tent. And um, I never could have done that in my corporate job. And the stuff that I've produced as an artist so far never would have been done um, without doing this. I actually look back at all the ideas that I have for books over the years for books that never got written um, because I didn't have the time to write them and then they were gone. So um, I'm here to tell you that if you, if you have a dream and you can do it mobily, you can do it on the road for so much less money. And not only that, but it's a much more rewarding life, at least for me, I found, than I had in a stick and bricks house with a safe corporate job. My stress level, I mean, is almost non-existent. There are stressors in this life, but there are different kinds of stressors. Like you have to read a manual and figure out how to fix something. Or the weather's changing and you have to go to a new place. Um, but there's no politics. And there's no backstabbing. And there's no ethical gray areas that you have to maneuver through. Um, it's just a wonderful life out here. And so please um, subscribe to my channel because I am going to be um, sharing with you how you can do this and how I did it and why and where I go. And I'm also going to be doing interviews with lots of other people who also do this so you can see examples of this life um, in case you're wondering if it's for you. If you're already on the road, I'm hoping to, you know, give you some ideas of better ways to do things, show you some community. Um, and not that I know it all. I certainly don't. And I'm taking advice from other people all the time. Um, but for now, I can tell you that this is the best thing I've ever done in my life. Um, there's lots of videos that, get, that I'm going to put out and share with you um, that, that I hope you'll enjoy. Um, so this is just the opening for now. And I, I want to say at the end of this video and lots of videos, um, I'm traveling for two people now. I'm traveling for myself and for my big sister, Terry. And I really believe that she's with me and she's seen all these places. Um, and so for now, goodbye YouTube. And, you know, for myself and my sister, Terry, we're signing off. Thank you so much. Um, I look forward to meeting a lot of you on the road and getting to know you through comments. Um, have a good day.